Hey folks, Ro here with the Divi Engine team. Some super awesome Divi Foam Molder news. We have just updated Divi Foam Molder after massive demand to add multi-step forms. Yeah, you heard that right. No longer are you confined to long, boring forms with a lot of questions that might overwhelm your users. You now have the freedom to add these and break these down into smaller steps super easily, super quickly, only with Divi Foam Molder. So, Without further ado, why don't I go take you through exactly how you'd go about changing one of your regular Divi Form Builder forms into a Divi Form Builder multi-step form. Let's go. Okay guys, so what I've got here is just my regular Divi Form Builder form that I have created with those nice input icons and all that fun stuff. And I am gonna be turning it into this awesome multi-step form. So let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna go into the editing page for my multi-step normal form. So when I open that up, it will load for a second. And here we go. Here I have all my fields and I, it looks like one or two more fields need to come in here. But all I do is I go into the form settings and now I've got all my fields here like normal. Now the way we've implemented multi-step is super simple. All you need to do is add a step field. So you go add a field, and then I'll say step one, for example. And here under type, we just need to go select form step. And you can also give your form step a name and here we would just say basic info, for example. And then we'll add an icon for like um, info. And there we go. There's a nice info icon for it. And we can go ahead and save that. Now what we need to do is drag it to the point in the fields where we want that step to start. So right at the top here. And now it seems like it's a good idea to add something for the addresses. So I'll add another field here and I'll say it's step two and I'll just call that addresses. And again, I'm gonna select form step as my field type. And then I'm gonna put in pin because a pin makes sense for an address. Select that icon right there. And then you can also change the button text for the next step that you want to use or the next button or previous. And you can also, of course, make sure that a step is required. So those are very important and helpful things to know when you're going through this. And then, of course, on the design tab, you can control things like um, the icon styling and stuff like that. We're not going to worry about that too much right now. And then I'll just save that one. And then step two will go right above my address here. And then lastly, we'll have a message step where people can submit their message. So we'll add another field. We'll call it step three, you guessed it. And we'll just say message. And again, we go select form step. We'll give it an icon and we'll just say message. And there'll be a bunch of options here. And I think that one works real nice. And again, you can change the text if you want to. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. You can change all the other fun stuff that you can with Divi Form Builder. But we just want to go ahead and drag this right up above our message field. And all the other fields are just standard fields. You don't need to do anything else except one thing on the actual form. We're going to scroll down here and here we have the multi-step options. We click on that. We say enable multi-step. And immediately you can see, and I'm actually going to mount this on the side here, you can see these multi-steps popping in here. Now you can change how the transition works. So you can do slide horizontal. Maybe that'll be a cool one. You can put the transition effect speed. You can show the progress bar as a percentage. You can show, you know, all different types of things about the type of step that you're selecting. But the progress bar style, you can go ahead and you can select lollipop and then it'll kind of fill up as you progress. You can select just basic will just be a basic one, but I prefer this step one where there are these nice little circles and you can change the border radius and you can change all sorts of different things in there. I'm not gonna mess with that. That's for you to explore and make beautiful. So I am just gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna update my form and then let's go refresh that regular contact form on the front end and see what that looks like now. So here I am on the front end. We see our big long form that's very annoying to fill out. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and bam, here we've got our steps and I can say Roby and I can go ahead and put in my dummy email account and I can put in a fake phone number and I can go next and see how nice that slide effect comes in. I'll put one, two, three, street lane because that's a real place, my city 
and state and then go next and check that slide effect bam that's so cool and lastly i will just type in my message oops that's not how you spell message there you go and submit it bam there it is thank you for submitting your message and guys so this is one of the coolest features we've added to the reformer so far i think the one i'm most excited about since adding digital signatures to the reform builder so why don't you go out multi-step is available now with the latest version of the reform builder go out try it out and show us what you build with divi form builder multi-step this has been roby with the divi engine team i'm going to catch you in the next video bye for now